In the previous video, we saw that the pandas plot method defaults to a line graph. We can specify several other kinds of plots, either by using a different method or by specifying the kind equals argument in the plot method. For a scatter plot, we need to specify what are the x and y columns as arguments. Here's an example. Here is some data from veterinarians about injuries to cats resulting from falls at different heights. These are the number of stories fallen, and this is the rate of injury for the cats. If I use the scatter method and specify the columns to be used for x and y, it will generate a scatter plot and use the column labels as the axes labels. To create a pie chart, I'm going to use a single y value. If I use a column of a table, that's going to be represented as a series. Here's the state CO2 sector data that we've used before with the state set as the row label index. I can use loc to pull out the Arizona row using the columns from commercial through transportation. When I do this, the result will be a series. I can then do the plot method specifying kind equals pi on the series that I pulled out of the data frame. And that will create a pie chart using the row label indices as the labels for the chart. There are two possible types of bar charts to make, vertical or horizontal bar charts. The horizontal bar chart is probably better if you have a lot of data. If I do a horizontal bar chart, it'll automatically use the row label index as the default for the y labels. The labels will be presented from the bottom up, so that gives me reverse alphabetical order by default. If I want them to be in alphabetical order from the top down, I need to reverse that. I'm going to again use the state CO2 sector data. This time, the rows that I want to use are the Alabama through Wyoming rows, and the column that I want to use is the total column. Again, this produces a single series because it is a single column in the table. Now I can supply the kind equals bar h argument with the indices sorted in ascending order first. Here I've specified the size that I want the figure to be. I've made it larger than the default because I have a lot of data to display. It's kind of a busy bar chart, but it does show the results for all 50 states.